friend of mine once told me about the process you have to go through to sell a product to a person once that person has walked into your store. It basically told me that, that once you qualify the customer and determine that he's a real customer and not just a window shopper, and then maybe you found him the right merchandise and maybe made a couple of upsells along the way, the next step is to ask the customer to leave his wallet on the counter on the way out the door. He said a lot of salespeople fail because they don't know how to ask for that credit card when what they need is a clear call to action statement. Online, that's exactly what we want to do. I had once worked on a, uh, a course finder application for an e-learning system for a major airline. They had created this whole collection of e-learning courses to help uh, tarmac workers and ramp workers and such get up to speed with the latest safety procedures and, uh, and company, procedure, uh, company policies and things like that. In the second example, I just want to illustrate when a call to action might be more appropriate. When we first got the designs from the company, we found out that someone in the marketing department had, had gone through a lot of trouble to write this nice long welcome blurb. It was a couple paragraphs long. It started out with the word welcome, and it was really well written. It had a lot of great information about how the application worked, what you could do there, what you could get out of it. But of course, the obvious problem here is that people don't tend to read long blocks of text online. They tend to skip right over those things. So the first thing we needed to do was change the, the heading into a nice short call to action statement. So when I first read the welcome blurb, this is what I saw. I saw a couple of major keywords that jumped out, such as locate courses and, and course finder, but all the rest of it sort of just blurred into this blob of text that just said blah, 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 blah. Everything was, you know, just fairly meaningless and, and, and not very useful at all. So the first thing I wanted to do was change the heading into a nice clear call to action statement. So I scrapped the word welcome and I changed that to find a course. That tells people right in this section, right underneath this heading is where you can locate a course, you can start uh, doing what it is you came here to do. And it also gives people, again, that feeling that they're directing the software. This is what I want you to do, or what I want the software to do. I want, to help, I want it to help me find a course. So. After I'd done that, I still needed to crush down this big block of text. And I realized that the marketing department had gone through a, tr a lot of trouble to write this text. And again, it was very well done, but it needed to go away because nobody was gonna read it. They were just gonna skip right over it. So after a little bit of convincing, I had managed to talk them into crushing down that big block of text into a nice short statement that just said, locate a course, then click its title to get started. Simple as that. By decreasing the word count, we actually increased the odds that someone would notice this statement and actually read it and, and figure out how to use the application from there. So by creating that call to action statement, we made it far more obvious to users what they could do. And on TripIt here, they actually get people started uh, with their trip itinerary sharing by instructing them to simply just forward your travel confirmation emails to plans at tripit.com. All you have to do is take your travel confirmation plans from any major uh, travel service online and forward it to this email address. It's a short, simple call to action statement that just tells people exactly what to do. I keep mentioning Tripit here because they do, they just do so many things right. Uh, I'm not being endorsed by them. I haven't worked for them. Nothing like that. They just do a lot of things right. And TripIt has the uh, the investment breakdown in place. They have a nice, clear uh, value proposition in place. And with this clear call to action statement in place, uh, they're pretty much doing everything right. And that is exactly what we want to achieve.